whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait one second. Oh, I thought I missed you. Hey, quick question for you. Are you half a hockey player? If you don't know what the heck I'm talking about, why don't you hang with me for a little bit and see what's up? Hi, I'm Coach Lance from OnlineHockeyTraining.com, and let me ask you the question again. Are you a half a hockey player? It's pretty simple to answer. Do you take more forehand shots and make more forehand passes than you do backhand shots and backhand passes during any on or off ice training session? If the answer is yes, I'm sorry, but you're only half a hockey player. It's true. I can still remember just over 40 years ago when one of my hockey coaches told everyone on the team to never make any backhand passes or take any backhand shots. I didn't think of it at all back then, but when I had kids and got into coaching, the memory reappeared and I was kind of, well, mad. Why would a coach not let players use or develop a skill that's available to everyone? Okay, I lied. I wasn't mad. I was pissed. So for the last 17 years, I've been on a quest and have recently started a movement called Show the Backhand Some Love. Come on, everybody. Who's with me? All right, attendance is a little light, but I'm telling you, it's going to be big. You see, the reality for most hockey players is that they don't strive to be equally as confident on the backhand side of the body. By putting an equal amount of reps on both the forehand and backhand side, resulting in them and some of you being half a hockey player. So let's go back to my coach and every other coach that has instructed their players to avoid using the backhand at all costs. What else might not they be sharing with you because of personal opinion or belief? Do you think it may have an impact on your long-term development and reaching your long-term objectives? So here's a quick exercise I'd like you to do. Get a piece of paper out, and I want you to think long and hard about this. I want you to write down everything you can think of that your coach should be teaching you regarding hockey. You can hit pause here, compile your list, and then come back to me. All right, you got your list? How many things did you come up with? I'd be very surprised if any of you came close to 50. Why I wanted you to do this is to show you how many skills are associated with playing the game of hockey. One of the items I'm sure you listed was skating. But did you break it down into more specific categories like forward and backward edges and crossovers, stride lengthening, transitioning, mohawking, speed and power skating, agility maneuvering, starts and stops, and underspeed training to list a few. The point is, is that there's a ton of skills that can be taught to hockey players and I don't care how good the coach is, he won't be able to get to everything. In most cases, there just isn't enough time to reach the more complex and complicated exercises. So that's why players have to look at it from a different perspective and that's an investing in yourself one. If you don't think you're getting the instruction you desire to feed your hockey skill acquisition appetite, then you have to look for specialized trainers. If it's skating, players will typically do a breakfast club before school sessions, working with a technical or power skating instructor to get those extra repetitions. If you want to beef up, you'd be looking for a strength and conditioning coach in order to get expert guidance. But do you know the two hockey skills that hockey players can acquire the fastest are? Stick handling and shooting. I did not know that. I'm not talking about on ice stick handling and shooting. I'm talking about off ice stick handling and shooting. And the best part is all the training can be done in the comforts of your home, in your garage, basement, or backyard. And here's how I can help you develop elite level stick skills. In case you forgot, I'm Coach Lance from OnlineHockeyTraining.com and I specialize in one thing and one thing only and that's off by stick handling and shooting. And I've been training players just like you or your son or daughter for over 10 years now here at my training facility in Minnesota. Unlike some other coaches mentioned earlier, I encourage and teach my players how to develop into a complete and confident player. How do you do that? It just so happens that in those 10 years, I've been developing the world's largest database of off by stick handling and shooting drills. I have over a thousand of them that have been tested over and over again by the players I work with for their stamp of approval. So the question that always comes up, what if I don't live in Minnesota and I wanna train with you? Not a problem, as I'll come to you. Are you serious? Yep. You see, I've taken all the drills and packaged them into individual practice routines that you can access 24 hours a day and secretly start honing your stick skills at home during times that work for your schedule. And the best part is that for a limited time, I'm offering a free sample of my off by stick handling and shooting program at OnlineHockeyTraining.com and there's no credit card required. I'm not going to hold anything back from you. I want you to learn everything I've learned about off by stick 
stick handling and shooting, because if you do and put the work into practicing all the drills I've developed, like thousands of players have done before you, in addition to your on ice training, well, success is soon to follow. So if you've been searching for someone to guide you down a proven off by stick handling and shooting developmental path, well then, I'm your guy. Just head on over to OnlineHockeyTraining.com and sign up for your free account today. I look forward to working with you.